Sharp's instruments are essential to dentistry practice, which is why Sharp's injury rates are a huge concern for dentists. According to the UK's public health, Sharp's injuries remain an ongoing issue for healthcare workers. Data submitted to the Significant Occupational Exposure Surveillance System between 2004 and 2013 indicates that 4,830 significant occupational exposures to a bloodborne virus were reported among healthcare workers, while the annual number of exposures increased from 373 in 2004 to 496 in 2013. Of healthcare workers reporting a significant occupational exposure, half were exposed to hepatitis C, a third to HIV, and one in 10 to hepatitis B. This means that healthcare workers across all occupational groups continue to be at risk of infections from bloodborne pathogens as a result of occupational injuries, including dental workers. A study of Sharp's injury cases reported by a university hospital between 2009 and 2011 showed that the annual incidence of Sharp's injuries was 8.19% among all dental workers. Those with less experience, for example interns, had a higher percentage of Sharp's injuries at 21.28% per year. In the study, a total of 56 injuries were reported by the hospital. In 16 of the 56 cases, the injury was caused by cutting instruments, such as periodontal curettes, surgical scalpels and scissors. What can we expect if we get injured? Sharp's injuries have a number of serious consequences for individuals. At best, a Sharp's injury requires blood tests and absence from work. In the worst case scenario, however, you are risking a bloodborne infection, surgery, and or costly rehabilitation for you and your practice. Do Sharp's regulations work? Regulations are designed to protect individuals and provide essential safeguards for the community. An effective Sharp safety program is shown to reduce injuries by as much as 80%. To manage and prevent the occupational risks of scalpel injuries, dentists and dental clinics should consider developing and implementing the hierarchy of controls. The hierarchy of controls is an effective method for managing hazards in the workplace and should be followed to prevent Sharp's injuries to healthcare workers. The hierarchy establishes five levels of hazard control measures, which are prioritized according to their effectiveness. These levels are elimination, substitution, engineering controls, administrative controls, and personal protective equipment. Engineering controls incorporate safety mechanisms designed to either isolate or remove the hazard from the environment. It is therefore most useful when alternative instruments or procedures are not adequate or appropriate. ClickSmart's Blade Flask and Blade Flask Evo are safety engineered devices which can help your dental practice or clinic to prevent Sharps injuries and comply with the requirements. Single-handed blade removers can be seamlessly integrated into a dental clinic safety program by use of a scalpel blade removal system mounted in several stationary points within the dental surgery, increasing its accessibility and allowing blade removal at the point of use. Additionally, automatic containment of used scalpel blades ensures that all personnel are protected from injury. The Blade Flask Evo allows single-handed removal of blades from scalpel handles often used in oral and dental surgery, including circular, bent, 3L and barren handles. The Bard Parker 3LA bent handle used specifically in dental procedures can only be used with the Blade Flask Evo. This makes the Blade Flask Evo Scalpel Blade Remover the perfect addition to your dental surgical practice. To find out more on how to keep your dental practice safe from scalpel cuts, send us an email at hello at clicksmart.com.